No Time to Die, Review Review, the show where I collect the best and the worst reviews from around the internet written by you, and I put them on full display for the world to see. You know, so that we can judge you. Anyway, let's go. Also, spoiler alert, but like for real this time, this video is going to be full of spoilers for No Time to Die. So uh, stop watching right now. If you don't want spoilers, that is. If you don't mind, keep watching, please. Six out of seven on my scale. What <laughs> scale? And then you give it a four out of five stars. Your scale doesn't make any sense. And if you're gonna say like six out of seven or like my scale is a seven, you have to explain how it works. <laughs> awesome movie to watch at your local AMC. You can't advertise here, AMC. Get out of here with that crap. Who's the audience for this movie? Producers will blame the poor box office of No Time to Die on COVID, but that's not why it's bombing. The movie is failing because there is no audience for it. It certainly wasn't made for fans of the Bond films, like me. Full stop. That tells me everything I need to know. If you're an old school Bond fan and didn't like this movie, that means you didn't like this movie. This movie in the first two weeks grossed double its budget, which isn't like, I know movies want to make a lot more than that, but it was not a bomb in the box office. One of the best Bonds, but I didn't like the ending. Five out of five. I just personally don't understand how you could not like the ending of a movie, but also say it's one of the best ones and give it a five out of five. That's nuts. Again, five out of five. Dislike the ending. Crying emoji. Did you like it or not? I can't tell. Exotic. Erotic. Excessive. Like all Bond movies, it was also entertaining, energetic, and enjoyable. <laughs> Fell asleep at least five times. Super two-dimensional. Action was predictable, characters lacked depth, and story was light on explanations. Perhaps you did not understand the story because you fell asleep five times. I felt like you needed to have watched other recent Bond movies to really get the full story. Yes, it's a sequel, it's an arc. They've been doing this since the first Daniel Craig Bond movie. Did you miss it? A poor depiction of James Bond, poorly written with political excerpts. James Bond should not die. My favorite franchise, gone to hell. Man, you guys are, are very salty about this movie. Mm, it wasn't interesting. I fell asleep. You guys need to stop going to movie sleepy. Epic Bond movie. I would have written the ending much better. Having Bond escape the island and later find the antidote to the DNA poison then rejoins his family. Much more Bond-like, good feeling at the end rather than losing it all. I really enjoy people who think that they can do better than the, you know, paid writers. Because that's an awful ending. Bond, especially the Daniel Craig Bond, is not always about happy endings. As the Daniel Craig Bond, I would argue there are no happy endings. Beware, the jokes are gone. The jokes have been gone like, since the beginning of Daniel Craig. Have you guys not been watching for the last four movies? Half the movie could have been cut. Last of the 007 movies. The movie was kind of long, but I, I didn't mind it that much. I didn't think they needed to cut that much, but it is really funny. There were a lot of comments like this, like last of the 007 movies. They think just because of the ending, there are no more Bond movies. They're making more. They were talking about it before it even came out. They're, they're already working on more. 007 now stands for License to Kill a Franchise. Wow. Exciting, clean, loved chairs. I gotta be honest, I didn't notice a single chair in this movie. My wife says we enjoyed it. I didn't like it, but you know, the wife says we liked it, so you know. This piece of art is unlike any other. Bond will never be whole again. I don't know what that means. What do you mean? The movie, it was great. I only have one disappointment with a customer sitting behind me and kicking my seat. Had to put him in his place. I might have to go back and see the movie again, only in a different seat when no one can sit behind me. This is hilarious to me because this isn't a disappointment with the movie, but you included it in your movie review and said it was a disappointment. Like, that has nothing to do with the movie. Also, like, oh, I had to put him in his place. Oh, you're such a badass. Great action. However, some parts were slow. If I was able to get refreshments, I could have enjoyed it better. You said parts of the movie were slow. Why didn't you just use those to go and get refreshments? James Bond should be single and sexy, not a family man. Too much car crashes and shooting. That's like the whole point of Bond. That's the only reason we watch. Hubby said was too much acting and way too long. It's a movie. Too much shooting and killing. Did not like the ending. It's Bond. Shooting and killing is what the, what the ah! It's James Bond. 
What's not to like this movie? <laughs> I've been defending the movie a lot, but also I was not that crazy about it, just as a movie. Nothing in particular, I just didn't think it was that great of a movie. I give the reviews for Bond like a two out of 10. <laughs> Your guys' complaints were weird. So weird. I'm, I'm gonna walk away from this one. <laughs> Sorry, dude, this is, this is just, this is my mind here. Ooh, hell yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Dude, this is driving me nuts. Of course, my battery's dying too.